So, two young men from Bedminster, one winner. Oh, and a big right hand immediately from the hammer, and he proved his point. It was the first punch of the fight, and he set his stall out early. Doherty will have to be aware of that right hand, and he landed it again. Now, he's not subtle in throwing it, the pledge, but he's obviously heavy, heavy-handed with it. And Doherty will have to be aware of it. Because the pledge is fired up after that success. And Doherty will have to work his way into this round now. Tuck up tight and then work again and watch for that right hand because when it gets through, it's hurtful. But suddenly, Doherty lands his own right hand. So trying to find a way back into this round after the explosive start from the pledge. And the pledge, his best success will be if he sets that right up and knows when to throw it. If he throws it just consistently, hoping that the power will get him through, he could be caught on the counter, as you saw from that uppercut from Doherty. Oh, but there's the power that you see when it does land. You can't fault him, he carries real weight with that right hand. What Doherty has to do as an equaliser is when he misses with the big swings, punish him. Because it, one time he won't miss could be the last because we've seen the power that rocks his opponent. Good stiff Jeff, left jabs this time from the pledge. And there's the right hand, it lands again to the side of the head of Doherty. Oh, and three, four punches this time from the pledge. So, round two. What can Doherty mount as an offence to stop his man coming forward with those pounding right hands? Can he prevent that hammer? Well, the hammer got through immediately with a right hand again. Just sorting out the tape on Doherty's glove there. So, we know what the pledge is going to do. He's going to look for that big right hand. It's what Doherty can do to stop it. He pushes forward, nice combinations. More variety from Doherty, but it's the power from the pledge. And again, that right hand, he's looking to throw it with regularity. 
Doherty has to make sure it doesn't get through and then come back with this sort of work. But there again, when he throws it and it lands, he's so dangerous. Look for the big uppercut to pledge there, but missed. Oh, the left jab this time of the pledge and slight bleeding from the nose of Doherty but as I said he's resilient and he takes shots like that very well but then he mixes them up the pledge looked good there with the rights to the head and body Doherty looks to his corner he shrugs it off he's bleeding more freely but what a tough resilient man and the pledge He's put a lot of effort into these opening two rounds. Looking to land that big right again. St set it up with a double stiff jab, and that's good work. Big right to the body, then to the head. Just missed with the left, but it's the right tactic. Setting it up this time with his left hand. As he did there again, and lands with the right again. It's these sort of combinations. Beautiful work to the body as well. Oh, and the uppercut, and this time, for the first time, Doherty is reeling, and he's going to get the count. Referee's looking at him, stepping in. Cleaning him up. Brilliant work there from the hammer to pledge. And it was the body shots that set up the head work. Very good end to this round from the man in the red corner. And the icing on the cake was that right hand right on the bill. That is two very big rounds from the hammer. Johnny de pledge in the red corner. So here we go, third and final round, and the pledge is feeling the pace. He's taking in deep breaths, but he has set the pace. He's been the man really throwing the leather, but you can see he's feeling it. Will there be a twist in the tail of this one yet? Because Doherty does need a knockout. And the pledge, it's those body shots that have been punishing there. And Doherty says, come on, I told you he was game. Looking to get his own rights and lefts going and looking for the sneaky uppercut there. Didn't land either of them, Doherty, but it's the right tactics. The pledge, he's got to find the determination to just keep up what he's been doing in the previous two rounds. Doherty needs to find that killer shot through the channels, but instead takes another looping right. And a low shot there, but the pledge is really feeling the pace now. Looks to his corner for inspiration. And away they go again. He's tired. Phil Allen saying, come on, you've got to keep it going. And there's the other big right. Nice right-hand counter from Doherty. And this is the danger for De Pledge now. How much work he's put in. If Doherty can dredge something up like he did there with that right hand, he could still cause a shock. But De Pledge looking for that big right hand. Doherty, Doherty just missing with the right-hand counter. Both men tired now, the nose bleeding freely at Doherty once more. But I think the pledge has done enough here, he's hanging on in there. He's very tired and left and right's coming through from Doherty and you can hear his fans. This is the surge he needed but now the pledge comes back. Throwing the heavy leather, big rights and lefts, it's the perfect response from the man in red. And he gets through again and Doherty is backed up once more to pledge. Throwing on instinct now, pure courage and determination. Stiff left jab, right to the body. And this is the pledge's fight. Doherty, what a gutsy performer. But the hammer kept it going for three rounds. And for me, that's a clean, clean win for the red corner. <laughs>